Hey you guys, I'm back with the prophetic word. This is part two of the prophetic alert that I recorded um, last week. And God wanted me to come on to give you the finishing touches of part one. Um, I want to be reading off my computer this time. So if I'm looking backwards and forward, that is why. Before I get started, always test the spirit by the spirit. And consult God with every word that come out of my mouth. Why? Because I'm just a mouthpiece. And just the perfect voice to tell what thus said the Lord. So this um is a prophetic alert with prophetic instructions. Um, a prophetic warning because God is speaking and God is also releasing. So, again, always test the spirit by the spirit. I'm just here to sound the alarm as God instructed me to. I'm not responsible for how you take this word. I deliver out of obedience. Take everything to prayer, but most important, importantly, importantly take heed to what he is trying to say um, <clears throat> in August of last year when God started using me in this area he had me to put out a word called party on my website and it was dealing with children and so this is like a new and a reoccurring word something like a prophetic um, collide but in December of 2016 before I even knew anything about the prophetic or operating in the prophetic I always been a dreamer and I always hear I wasn't a seer at that time but I was always I've been dreaming for a long time ever since I was 16 I didn't understand those dreams then but Anywho, um, that was six years ago, December the 1st of 2016. I wrote down in all caps, this will be a mass society. This will be a hurting world with many crying and dying babies. And he gave me the scripture, Psalms 49, 1-3, that says, Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world, high and low, rich and poor. Listen, for my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. I believe the virus is going to get 10 times worse. Um, as I said in my prophetic poem, Whoopi Loopy, it will be a virus surge. And, um, I believe we will be going back under a mask mandate. If not, wear your mask anyway to protect yourselves and others. April the 20th, 2020, a year ago, um, I wrote the poem called Falling in Tune Songs, which is what I posted last week. God had me to um, go in there and take certain parts out to say. And the part that he had me to pull away um, and to say it again is the death toll around the world will be number one. Falling in tombstones. Wearing gray clothes. The color isn't highlighted. It's the system. The world is shifting. The land is bleeding. Fear and trembling of the unseen. Falling in tombstones. More kids will come up missing. Many traumatized, many homicide, many kids will choose the option of being suicidal. And he gave me um, a new scripture, Isaiah 8 and 22, that says, Then they will look to the earth and see trouble and darkness, gloom of anguish, and they will be driven into darkness. Um, as parents, 
Um, anybody that have children, uh, we have to keep them covered because the crime rate is going to go up. Um, it's going to be a lot of um, missing kids. They're going to be dying. and It's just going to be a whole lot of senseless killing. And I believe it's going to get extremely bad with the shootings. And um, so we just need to um, stay lifted up in prayer for the whole world, really. Um, I believe God highlighted that part again to let people know that the death toll is getting ridiculous and um, things are getting out of hand. And so we just have to um, stay prayed up, guys. Um, January the 1st, 2021, five months ago, I had a dream and uh, it switched. I went into this post office. It was like a big branch, like the head post office or something. And I'm not even sure how I got access to the mailbox. It was a mystery box. It didn't, every other mailbox had keys and hey you know you have to unlock this particular box it had nothing on it I mean I can go up and touch it and it'll just open wide and so when I did open it I saw I reached in there and I saw pamphlets concerning how to get grants and funding and then I moved that to the side and I saw a lump sum of cash along with chicks. I took everything out and money was just flying everywhere. And I believe in this set time, it will be a war, war, whirlwind of funding that will sweep the world to help in a greater way. Like people that have businesses, um, have non-profits or anything that they trying to get out get off the ground, um, trying to buy land or whatever the case may be. Um, I truly believe God is going to fund um, what it is that we're trying to do for the kingdom. Um, January the 21st, also five months ago, I heard the sound of lightning. Then God said, I'm about to do a rumbling in the spirit. He also said, move swiftly. You don't have time to waste. I will shake some things up to get your attention. Get to me now. And if you haven't given your life to Christ, um, this is the time to give your life to Christ. Um, we truly don't know the day nor the hour. And we want to be ready when Jesus comes back. Also, um, what he meant about moving swiftly, whatever um you are birthing, um, it is a such thing as right now. Um, you probably need to get to it, go revisit some prophetic words. Um, whatever instructions God gave you to do anything, get off your behind and get up and do it um march 3rd 2021 which was three months ago i had a dream i was talking to a leader in the church it was a man the leader was a man and it was two other that was in leadership with this man it was a man and a woman who was under um under the leader they all wanted to do sexual exploits and explicit things with me before bringing the word. And when they saw that I banged down, they got really mad and threw me out of the church because I didn't perform what they desired to be. Um, and he had me to say again about, um, about the acronym of HEAT which he gave me a month ago, April the 24th, 2021. Um, God said, get ready for the heat. 
which means homosexuality will be exposed in abomination along with transgenders. He then said, idolatry is ruling and many are being hypnotized by the foolery of the sins they are partaking in. A great exposure is coming to the body of Christ. Giving me um, the reoccurring scripture, Jeremiah 29, 8. This is what the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of Israel, says. Do not let your prophets and foretellers who are with you in the land of Babylon trick you. Do not listen to their dreams. Be careful who you are receiving from in this hour. Even in the church, you will have to really inspect their fruit, really test the spirit by the spirit because it's a lot of perversion going on in the body of Christ, more so in the poor people. And contam contamination and poisoning words are being filled with people's ears. And it's causing false doctrine, false prophecies, and false covenant. covenant. It's, it is really heavy in the church. And it's due to many having lustful desires. Um, and people are dying spiritually, hanging from a cliff because of the ungodly things that people are doing in the inside of the church. So just be careful and be watchful and ask God to widen your discernment so you can see and know who's true and who's false. The wheat from the tear. Um, April the 30th. 2021 a month ago I was on YouTube listening to my worship music just worshiping getting myself together so I can write and um, this ad kept playing it kept playing over and over and over and I said okay God trying to warn me so let me look at this ad again and when God does that that is a perfect sign to pay attention and he literally spoke through the ad. It said, emergency food storage. It never, it is never wise to put off preparation. You will sleep good at night knowing you and your family is protected from a disaster that is coming. Start building your emergency food storage today. And I was like, Wow. I was like, I really don't have to say nothing. Because the ad explained everything that um, God wanted to say. But he also added and said, tell my people to build your ox. For you shall be protected like the Noah days. And so, God been having me watch Noah for the last six months. And I'm just like, God, I'm sick of this. And I understand why he had me watch Noah for that for those last six months because he was helping me and helping me to build my ark and the things that I needed to get prepared for my household. And so now he's allowing me to release it to, to the people to build their arks. So, you know, whatever you need to do, um, get to it. Um, he gave me um, a new scripture, Luke 12 and 24. Consider the ravens, for they never sow nor reap. They have no storeroom nor bun, and yet God feeds them. How much more valuable you are than the birds. Storehouse people, a massive shortage of meats and all we hit. A famine is coming to the land. Although God is going to provide we still got to use wisdom to prepare, prepare, and prepare. Do it when it makes sense. Do it when it don't make sense. Be ready for what's about to happen. May 5th, 2021. I had a dream about the vaccine. Again, I saw many line up to get it, and every time they would get it, people were just falling dead, dropping like flies. Bodies piled up by the thousands. And to each his own. If you don't have to take the vaccine, please don't take it. And if you do, be wise and consult with God before making the move. You don't know what type of effects it will leave on your body. It could truthfully be death 
or possibly laying on your sick bed, paralyzed or numb or something. So we just have to be um, wise in that area. Also, May 5th, I had an open beach. Um, I saw a helicopter. And on the helicopter was the word war. And the R was hanging. The R was hanging. And the R spelled Russia. And I said, okay, God, what does this mean? And he said that we need to cover Russia in prayer. Cover the other nation in prayer. Because something is about to take place. Um, I don't know what's going to take place. But guess what God said. So we need to um, stay in prayer and pray for the other nations. Or whatever is trying to occur in Russia. We need to cover Russia. Or whatever is going on. Um, I guess the helicopter is symbolic for um, um, probably trying to go blow up something. I, I don't know. But that's what I saw. I saw the helicopter with war and the R was leaning off the helicopter and it spelled Russian. So, you know, it's praying and fasting time. You guys get about your father's business. God is not playing. The warning is out here. The signs are here. We are in interesting times. Don't have step with God. Whatever you are called to do on this earth, earth get busy. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So I would like to say a quick prayer before I get off here. Um, again, always test the spirit by the spirit. With every word that came out of my mouth. As, as he has had me to deliver my open beings and my dreams. So, Father God, I thank you for using me in this era of time, being a perfect voice. Lord God, let your people understand that you are with them and you are for them, and we will make it even in a family. Lord God, whatever you are releasing in this hour, we, um, we want to be a part of it, of any assets that you have for us. Let us use wisdom and knowledge in this season for um, whatever we are building, whatever we are writing, whatever we're trying to do for you. Let us move swiftly, like you said in your word, to get it off the ground because it is needed for the kingdom. And Lord God, we, we want to cover Russia as well. Whatever is going on over there, Lord God, we think the blood of Jesus over it right now. For you know the set time things will take place but let us be prepared and let us stay at your feet to hear what you got to say to get um, the prayer through and to fast and do whatever you tell us to do to keep the atmosphere set and motion um, I hear God say watch what you say in this season I don't know why he's shifting me but um, watch what you speak in this season because this is um, a birthday season and we want to be careful um, what we say and how we say it and uh, mainly we just need to be quiet and um, hear his voice so just be careful because this is a birthday season and you don't want to um, you don't want no premature babies in this hour or whatever God got you doing um, just lay at his feet and give it all to him um, so yeah now I am done uh, whenever God release me again I'll be sure to get on here and give you what thus said the Lord um, this is not always easy. Um, it's very scary. But he chose me, so I have to be bold and tell you what it is that he needs you to know.
keep me in prayer um, as I do these things because these words are getting harder and harder and harder. So, and my nerves be on a thousand. But this too shall pass. Um, God bless you all. And I'll see you guys next time.